Hi, it's Dino, and I'm going to show you how to add in uh, threat protection policies to an existing API proxy. Uh, I've opened up uh, an API proxy, and uh, I'm now going to flip over to the Develop tab. You can see I've got a bunch of different flows here. Uh, two of them are gets, which means there's no inbound payload data. The third one here is a post, and that's going to be one that uh, potentially does carry payload data that I might want to protect against. So let's uh, add in a threat protection policy. What I'll do is on the request flow, I'll click plus step and I'll select JSON threat protection. Add that in and then I can configure the uh, metadata on that uh, threat protection. How many array elements do I want to allow? Let's say a max of six. Uh, what depth of container? It's certainly not going to go more than five in my case. And um, how many entries in an object? Uh, let's say max of 12 and my entry names are going to be no more than 24 characters. So that's an uh, easy way to add in JSON threat protection. Um, XML threat protection works the same way. Uh, and uh, you just drop in the policy and you've got similar kind of metadata that you can select, select on the XML threat protection. The JSON threat protection will apply to inbound payloads that carry a, an application JSON uh, content type, whereas the XML threat protection policy will apply only to inbound payloads that have application XML or text XML payload types. So they're smart about how they get applied. And that's it. Now I've got uh, threat protection policies on this particular flow for my API proxy. That's all.